I have to. And of course, Perry the guy traveling with Ron Bennington and friends and Jimmy Schubert. And you know what shocked me, Ronnie B? What's that? Moments ago, on the Ron and Ron show, Parody Guy actually referred to a portion of the body, his body, that he did not consider erogenous, which I think... I only, know, I only thought he was into the one thing, you know? I never know if he was freaky, and I know he likes doing the one thing over and over and over and over and over. Well, I'm freaky, and if somebody wants to suck my toes, that helps me get where I need to get. That's cool. But you're just on your way. Yeah, I'm just on my way. I don't look at a... Anything turn you off? Well, there's not too many things that turn me off. Really? Things we couldn't talk about on the radio. Yeah, there's a few things. What are the freaky things you're into? Hey, one thing I... Yeah. Why, well, would this turn you off? Uh, you're with a woman. Yeah. Pop, 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 yada, yada, yada. It's all going great. All of a sudden, you see her lick her finger. <laughs> hey! <laughs> where do you think you're going with that? <laughs> that does cause a little apprehension sometimes. <laughs> My thing is always the head butter as soon as I see someone catches it. Open up the nose. <laughs> Now, you're an animal in the rat. You're the marathon man. Hmm. How long on average? How long on average before, you know? On average? Yeah. For most guys? No, for you. I can go hours. 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 Well, yeah, you, but you, uh, anybody gonna, can yeah, go you're hours. Gonna, you're going to miss the next one then. Yeah. Anybody can go hours. You're just not going to be very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a woman, on average. It takes a village. 20 minutes. That's it for one. A bunch of survey uh, stuff. And women, that, 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Now, is that uh, including the uh, foreplay action? Yeah. That's all. That's the combined stimulus stimulation. 20 right. minutes. Thanks, man. Wow. All right. And uh, what I did, because I know parody guys uh, going on the road, so hey. I compiled a whole bunch of different sexual statistics here from different places, like the Janus Report on Sexual Behavior. Uh, the Kinsey Institute, Report on Sex, New Male Sexuality, Hot Monogamy. These are different books. Those Kinsey people can turn you off quick. They really they, can. Can. They, they, have, they got their noses into everything. Yeah. They have bad things to say about men in general. On average, they say, most men are done within two minutes of penetration. Oh, oh come on. Two minutes. Yeah, but they're including <laughs> teenagers. <laughs> I don't know if they are. They didn't lay, didn't lay out the age groups. Did they? Did they separate the premature ejaculators from the uh, the other people that don't suffer from that? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, they just it, lump them into it, one group. Some you survey a couple thousand people. Yeah, no. You know what? Here's, they, here's what the deal is. Once you've been married for a while, you perfect it to where <laughs> you know the exact thing for both of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, You'll be lucky if you can go two minutes. <laughs> Average duration, ten minutes for the act. That's what right, What's say. the guy doing, the five times then, if we're going for the two minutes? And the woman's, like, not getting their half. Yeah, this is just different statistics. Say, huh? all right. The percentage, this is something you like, percentage of women who would like to have sex more often, what do you think that would be? I'd what's say what's close to 90%. Up there. Anybody Maybe? else? Uh, I'd say it's probably half and half. Fifty, fifty yeah, percent. Half and half. Shubs, I'm saying seventy thirty. <laughs> Seventy's right. Thank you. Way to go! Wow. I think seventy percent of women surveyed say they'd like to have it a lot more often. Why don't they yeah. ask? <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to ask. <laughs> See, that's the problem. Yeah. All you got to do is bring it up. Gary from Tampa, you're on the line right now. Hey guys. Hey. Man, I'll tell you what. That two minutes, I remember that a long time ago when it was. The first time, you know, you after you've been with a woman for 15 years, it seems like you just can't get the job done. All right, yeah, I understand. <laughs> Ouch. But, all right, so you're a marathon man, right? Yes. Why don't you try getting some strange after 15 years, see if it doesn't go right back to two minutes. <laughs> well, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I should try it out. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have a little something on the side, my friend. Well, then I and, and for your wife's whole benefit. All right, here's my secret, Ronnie. Mm. I run two, three batches before we actually do the right. mm -hmm. That <laughs> way, those are called nuisance batches. Nuisance batches. You get them out of the way, so then you can go and make a 20-minute mark. Here's the other thing. 20-minute mark. <laughs> I'm a 20-minute man. Now, plus, you need that much just for the whole cardiovascular benefit to kick in. <laughs> so you get your heart rate right. Right. But also, why can't the woman get started 15 minutes before you get there? What's the problem there? Yeah. Yeah, go warm up the car. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And if we're to believe this, yes. gay guys just go for two minutes. <laughs> bang, bang, we're done. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get the lawn to get. I'll get the back, you get the front. Thank you. Hardly time to be gay. Yeah. 
Man, I'm in... <laughs> yeah, no I'm gay. Uh, if only two minutes of your day are spent being gay, how are you gay? Ten minutes out of 24 hours? Well, it doesn't seem like a big thing. You're yeah. not gay. Yeah, that's... <laughs> and that's a problem, you know, with oh, the, yeah. the gay guys. Oh, yeah. You know, boy, yeah. men are pigs. You know, there's no women in the whole gay thing. You know, women... Right. You know? So the house will look bad, you're saying? I'm saying the house is going to look bad. Someone's walking around picking stuff up. Well, you know, one thing that will happen, I'm probably in a gay guy's house, no one ever thinks about changing the sheets. Unless the woman brings up, you'll have the same sheets on for 15, 20 years. Right. It's well, always a shock. I love those sheets. Yeah, not to mention, I have a tough time uh, decorating. I'm reading the uh, Heterosexuals Guide to Interior Design right now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. All right, now you talked about warming up the car. Uh, and this is, goes without saying with guys. Guys, 94% of guys like to run a batch. That's no problem with them. Who are the other 6%? Yeah. The 6% of the guys not say no. 70% of women. Oh, uh, I just despise that. I know. Like 6% must have stubs or something. No, you know what the 6% was? A lot of the guys they went to high school with. You check cool. <laughs> <laughs> them and amputees. Oh, yeah. Amputees. Oh, um, maybe that's it. Yeah. Stroke victims, probably. Uh, Seventy percent of women uh, run a batch and you know finish it off. Yeah, but they bring in machinery for that. Yeah. But, uh, Listen, seven percent of married women say that that's their that's their favorite way to go. What? They just well, run a batch and be done with it. Yeah. Do it obviously. Themselves. Obviously. Yeah. That way they can be satisfied and still punish their husbands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, yeah, but I don't want this sounding like a boys club hanging around in here. Yeah. But the women, you know, they love to go in the I shower. Don't mind. They love to go in the shower and uh, make the adjustment. I can yeah, right. tell you can win because it goes from that like regular shower head, <laughs> and you can walk in, you can hit the face with this streamlined one one catch. Go, oh, honey, what were you doing in here? Huh? What were you doing in here? Cleaning the tile. Yeah. Now. Here's Clean something. in the tile. That's what they call it. Here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the tile. This is something that I thought it was weird. Why you let me clean the tile every once in a while? <laughs> That's the reason she has to clean the tile. Yeah. Because you're in there cleaning the tile. <laughs> How about this statistic for Taking you? out the grout. <laughs> they categorize women by homemakers. So do I. Homemakers and career women. <laughs> so do I. Okay. Pig. I got twice, pigs. Twice as many career women are uh, running a batch. Only half as many homemakers are into that. Yeah, how do you how do you do that? You got kids running around the house, you have hardly have any time. Yeah, good thinking. Kick, kick start that vibe. <laughs> Put those crowds down, little Bobby. Women what? that uh, like to take care of it, auto erotic women, the number increases with the level of education. The smarter yeah, they are, the more solo they are. They fall. Yeah, they finally figured it out. Right. <laughs> how everything works. Them farm women have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yes, uh, it's an Amish vibrator. It's a broom handle attached to the plow. Butter turn. What do you what do you call six bees trapped inside a long neck beer bottle? <laughs> an Amish vibrator. <laughs> they can drink. Honey, what are you doing with the with some bottle full of bees? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna clean the grout. <laughs> I'm going to go scrub the tile, honey. Now, here's the weird thing. You talk about the Amish vibrator. Oh, she's going to be in her bottle. 26%. <laughs> they say, oh, she's horned up. She's got to be in the bottle. I thought this number would be higher. Only 26% of women say they've used, uh, you know. An aid? Well, some people don't like it. Some people, some women just don't like having a piece of machinery down there uh, hey. because it causes damage to the nerve endings in the labia. Yeah. I don't, yeah, all you got to do is turn that Thanks, thing, Parker. all you got to do is turn that thing on. <laughs> yeah, then who would want this? Yeah. Egg Bagley Jr.'s wife is dying to use one. Not oh, sure. Oh, you can't, can't get a solar-powered one. Not to mention, it messes up the reception on the TV when I'm yeah. trying to watch my favorite program. <laughs> now, actually, you know, that's how me and Linda met. We were uh, actually living next door to each other, and my remote control and her vibrator were on the same frequency. Well, you knock so it off, don't have to fight on Jeopardy. Come on. <laughs> What is cleaning the grout? One eight hundred runner on one eight hundred seven six 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 seven six. If you got questions or uh, yeah, if you anything know. you want to know about uh, sex or anything you want to add about sex, right? Anything you want to know about damaging the nerve endings in your lady? <laughs> Doctor Jimmy Schubert is with us this morning. 
Now, see, I thought you were a comedian. No, yeah, I am a comedian. I am a, com it. I am a comedian. My friend is a uh, gynecologist, a good friend of mine is a gynecologist. In fact, he was this close to being a proctologist. Hello. Visual joke. For you people at home, about one inch away. <laughs> Nine after. <laughs> Running.